What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 62 and we start the episode off with uh, me showing you the Europa League group, we've got uh, Vitesse, Standard Liège and SK Brand and that is a really decent group, I reckon we're going to get through this with relative ease, play a backup side in, in every game and I still think we'd win because I mean to be honest those three teams aren't very strong at all. But the first game of the group was against the uh, Belgian Standard Liège and well, <laughs> I mean this was a sign of just how easy it's going to be. Because straight from kickoff, Azuma plays the ball through the Chevalier. What a ball that was. And Chevalier skips past his man. And Jesus Christ, this guy looks insane. He's, I mean, I like Andy Carroll. I really do. He is. There's no reason why I should drop Andy Carroll because he's a really good striker. But Chevalier, man, you're going to see in this episode, and in this game in particular, just how good he is. He is absolutely insane. Obviously, six foot six, absolutely rapid. The uh, young French sort of uh, regenerated player I signed. Uh, at the start of the season on a free agent, but he was just insane. This was Salou going through here and playing the ball across to Wilfred Zaha, and it's already 2-0 to Liverpool, just 11 minutes in. Standard Liège were just terrible, and, uh, well, we completed the route here in the 28th minute. Zaha playing it to Chevalier, and this is just magic. Absolutely insane. It's it's sheer flair. Absolutely insane from, uh, from she Yeah, flair, yeah, the... Yeah, Flair, she yeah, Flair from Chevalier. Yeah, <laughs> I like trying to make up little fun titles all the time. Flair from Chevalier. That's what I'm going to call this one because that, that was that was superb. Flair from Chevalier. That was insane. I like that Flair from Chevalier. Uh, yeah, that was insane, and um, that was just an amazing ball out from Gaza to Slu here. We had a chance to make it four 0 just after an hour played. <laughs> I like that title, I'm quite, quite impressed with that one. Uh, Slew going through here, his shot was saved, it came to Zaha, his header once again saved, it comes to Slew, he put the ball in the back of the net, but unfortunately the flag is already up for offside against Jordan Slew. But um, yeah, good game, a 3 0 win, Chevalier with two, and Zaha with one. Che Chevalier was just insane in this game. And uh, yeah, a really decent win, really. I mean, like I said, the Europa League group stage uh, is something I don't really care about. The three teams we've got in Vitesse, Standard Liège, and SK Brown aren't really strong, but um, to win the first game comfortably by three goals to nil against in my opinion, the, the other strongest team in the group. Uh, it's just a, a great win, so I'm really pleased with that one. But it was back to the league matters here at Anfield to take on Aston Villa. And uh, obviously with uh, beating Standard Liège by three goals to nil, despite uh, putting out a completely different 11 uh, players onto the team, uh, onto the pitch, I still felt confident we'd get the job done. And it only took us a couple of minutes to get the first goal. Asaidi to Gonalons. Gonalons down the right-hand side to Asaidi. He uses his five-star skill to cross the ball in. Gonalons flicks it on, and there is Andy Carroll to make it one nil to Liverpool just four minutes in absolutely uh, superb start and uh, so surely a sign of uh, things to come this was Bell Handers crossing into Andy Carroll it was headed away El Qatari managed to pick the ball up play it to Asaidi he goes for goal but unfortunately his shot hits the bar and goes out for a goal kick uh, this was once again Asaidi just uh, falling Stevens there with some nice five star skill gives the ball away but uh, Ron Villar loses out to Asaidi it comes to Bell Hander can he finish yes he can 90 long shot rating he's not going to miss from there you give him space and he'll find the back of the net, superb strike from Eunice Belhanda, it's 2-0 to Liverpool but uh, unfortunately Aston Villa did have a chance to get back into the game here when uh, Darren Bent picked up the ball and uh, to be honest I don't know how this is a penalty because I mean I, I didn't even you know do the pull shirt sort of button that keeps happening in circle to pull the shirt, I just left him and for some reason the referee gave a penalty I was really pissed off about that, there was, there was no, never a penalty, never a penalty, not in my eyes and uh, Darren Bent stepped up against David De Gea and sent him the wrong way so Aston Villa straight back in the game at 2-1 but to be be honest Aston Villa didn't really threaten too much in this game they, they were quite poor and um, I'd actually expect a little bit better from them but this was Bent picking up the ball here and when he gave it away to Casemiro who's been a great signing for me uh, Casemiro runs up the pitch here gives the ball to Andy Carroll Carroll finds Sterling down the left hand side he plays it back into Carroll Carroll chips the ball over to Sterling it's a really nice move Sterling across the face of goal and there's Asaidi with a free volley at the far post to make it 3-1 game was put beyond doubt there I mean you know Aston Villa got themselves a really dubious penalty and they had the chance to uh to press us and look for the equaliser they didn't do that and we took full advantage that made it 3-1 at this stage and uh, here we are just after an hour played Sterling down the left hand side here goes down the left hand side gets taken down that's a penalty and uh, the referee has no hesitation as he points to the spot as Aston Villa can see the penalty here and uh, gave it to Belhanda could Belhanda score did I give it to Belhanda I'm pretty sure I did I'm pretty sure Belhanda took it I'm pretty sure he did. Yes, he did. Bill Hander takes the penalty. Can he score? He stutters and smashes it to the left of the goal. It's 4-1. That's how the game finishes. And as always, guys, a big thank you for watching this video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you for the next episode very soon.